Hi and welcome to the review and soundcheck of the BNO P2. This is BNO's new pocket size speaker which should be the little brother of the BNO A1 but actually is more expensive with a price of $170. Inside of the convenient looking box you will get the speaker itself, some quick start guides as well as the USB Type-C charging cable. When first holding the speaker in the hand the P2 feels heavy and high quality. The housing is made from solid plastic and rubber and the two drivers which include one tweeter and one full range driver are covered by a nice metal grill. Overall it feels pretty well in the hand. When it comes to ports, B&O definitely got inspired by Apple and removed the headphone jack and left us with a single USB Type-C port for charging. This charges the roughly 1000 mAh big battery. And speaking of battery, we already have one critic point with the P2. BNO claims it to last for 24 hours, which is an impossible number. I didn't measure it exactly, but it should last for around 8 hours on normal levels and about 1.5 hours on maximum volume, which isn't really that great. And as there's only one on and off button on the speaker, BNO implemented some more or less helpful gesture controls, where you can double tap the speaker to play and pause the tracks and shake it to play the next song. Additionally, they offer a BNO app where you can control the sound color, the stereo image when you pair up two of them, as well as customizing the gesture controls. But now, please put up your headphones as this is a high quality binaural microphone recording and enjoy the comparison. So now let's turn it on. And Let's first compare it against a way cheaper speaker, just to show you how good a speaker in this size category can sound. I thought this comparison would be useless, but actually many people asked for it. So this is the JBL Clip 2 and also the BNO P2 and we will yeah, just compare them with a nice house track or yeah, some, I don't know, funky um, dance track here. This is 90% volume. And this is 55. Let's crank it up a bit more. Let's maybe check out another track and see how they perform here. So you could hear the JBL Clip 2 doesn't stand a slight chance, it was at 100% volume while the P2 kept it at 55%. Also the P2 is a 180 degree speaker similar to the BNO A1 which is the next bigger brother. So if you place it flat on the ground you will get some nice treble dispersion also thanks to the tweeter which also has a treble boost. But if you hold it on axis it will even become a bit clearer in the mids and treble section. So yeah it's some kind of um, I don't know, half 180 degree speaker because you still have a slight advantage when you, I don't know, turn it the right way. But still some nice advantage for outdoors. They also claim it to be a bit yeah, waterproof, but there's no IPX rating. So um, yeah, I wouldn't trust this. But maybe, yeah, if you are walking through the rain, it should be okay. But I don't think those okay, ports good. are sealed. Now let's maybe check out the Xiaomi Mi speaker, which also is very famous for sounding good while being very small. This one goes for about $50, so yeah, about three times less the price than the BNO. So let's see if this is, yeah, the high price of the BNO is justified. Maybe it 
sounds a bit more natural. This maybe sounds a bit more balanced, but I wouldn't say that it is very intelligent to tune a speaker in this size category very balanced because you don't have a huge dynamic range, so you don't have a speaker which can play down to 50 Hz and up to 30 kHz. So I think some tricking in the frequency response measurement is quite intelligent. So B&O boosted some bass uh, and also some treble to simply make the sound more exciting while not having, you know, huge drivers inside, by the way. The full range drivers made by FIFA and I think you really notice it because it produces some very nice sound even at max volume. And to make it a bit more fair, let's also place the Xiaomi like this. I think that the yeah, natural treble from the Xiaomi also comes while it is, uh, while it is yeah, no, because it is a um, directional speaker. So if they, um, yeah, I don't know, wanted to make a 180 degree speaker like B&O did, they would have also boosted the treble because you can simply hear it better off axis. So therefore, let's try a jazz track and see how they perform yeah, like this. <laughs> Yeah, there's quite some change. Let's try the B&O. quite clear. This simply sounds a bit too thin. Sometimes it can sound a bit drowning, but this is okay, I think. And also because of the um, yeah bass boost with the BNO P2, and it will peak at 100 hertz, you will get some slight distortion. I think this is a software issue. BNO has already released an update, but this um, yeah didn't change anything. So let's take a listen to this, and you will notice some yeah, very strange, not really distortion. It isn't even this power power effect by BNO. It is some really new remix creation. isn't fully clean it sounds a bit I don't know a bit um, I don't know like metallic um, now let's try the track called analog by soul persona which is famous for heavy bass kicks so you can hear it does some kind of pew pew instead of some real kick but I am quite surprised um, because, um, I don't know, I use it quite often and I maybe, I don't know, somehow broke in the driver. So now um, it performs way clearer than before. This is really surprising. But still, you could hear it slightly. So B&O should maybe take away some of the 100 hertz, I don't know, peak. And then they would, um, yeah, I don't know, really, um, I don't know, uh, I don't know, <laughs> decrease the distortion. Now let's maybe check out a hip hop track and see how they perform here. Also some nice bass kicks and here you won't even notice the slight distortion. Yeah, so here the PNO 
BNO, not PNO, really won because the Xiaomi Summer sounded like a little kitchen radio. So it was missing some of the bass kick, some of the nice treble, which you of course need with hip hop. So this, um, I don't know, sizzling bass kicks or hi hats didn't really, I don't know, sound that great on the Xiaomi, but rather really nice on the BNO. And also the mids were way fuller and not as, I don't know, annoying and diffused. Next, we have something quite special because this is the Libertone 2. Not a very famous speaker, but I really like it. Battery life is incredible, lasts for about 20 hours on maximum volume. Um, and yeah, may, let's maybe check out another, I don't know, pop track or yeah, pop track and see how they perform here because this one goes for about um, $69. So it is a lot more um, yeah, cheaper than the BNO P2 and also yeah, isn't that much bigger, of course, a bit heavier, but still maybe a nice outdoor speaker if you are looking for a rugged solution, which isn't as expensive. So let's check it out here. And this is simply impressive. The BNO P2 simply shows um, how much you can do with tuning and high quality components in a very little housing. Because actually the Libertone should outperform it because it has way bigger drivers and also way bigger housing. But no, the BNO actually sounded a bit nicer, of course, with a bit less bass. And the um, Libertone also has an IPX4 rating and is um, a real 360 degree speaker. But still, if you only want sound, the um, P2 might even be the better one. Now let's maybe check out the next speaker model, the A1. In Europe, or at least in Germany, you can currently get it for the exact same price as the P2. And I would call the P2 a mini A1 because um, except for the bass, it sounds um, almost completely similar to the A1. So now let's check out the exact same track just with A1 and the BNO P2. Of course, the A1 sounded a bit more rounded up, but maybe even the P2 sounded a bit clearer in the mid-range section. Otherwise, I would say they in complement each other pretty well because, yeah, this lineup is pretty, you know, linear because with JBL, it's like the flip four sounds nicer than the um, Charge 3 and the Charge 3 somehow sounds more natural than the next bigger model, the Extreme. But with BNO, it is a very nice lineup because the P2 already sounds pretty good. But then there's the A1, which has even nicer deep bass and they both sound very similar with um, JBL. I don't know, they always change their tuning from speaker to speaker. So the flip four sounds totally different than a Charge 3. I'm not really a big fan of this. Um, BNO does a way nicer job here. Next, let's maybe check out um, yeah, a jazz track again and see how those perform here because yeah, both have quite some strong travel. And let's see yeah, which you like more or yeah, maybe this one even performs a bit clearer. <laughs> Nice deep bass, of course, is a huge advantage. It's somewhere in the middle, I'm somewhere in between. Crack the codes of the riddle, trying to find the real me. 
Sounds a bit rounder. So again, the P2 sounded a bit nicer in the mids, but otherwise I would really prefer the A1. Treble was a bit less metallic, also bass way deeper with, I don't know, way nicer roll off. And overall, I would also prefer the A1 simply because it yeah, cost the exact same amount of money. And um, yeah, they are almost equal, just that they one sounds, of course, nicer and is also way louder um, and also sounds pretty well on maximum volume. So it is, I think, even about six or even more decibels louder than the P2. So a real, um, I don't know, outdoor advantage with the A1 here. But maybe you only like a speaker on the go for your jacket pocket um, and you are willing to pay $170 for this because it actually is a very exceptional sounding speaker. I don't know, in this size category. Now let's maybe also check out how the bass boost for low levels on the P2 stacks up to the yeah only not boosted deep bass of the A1. So let's see how this sounds. How this sounds on low levels. The A1 doesn't have a bass boost, um, of course a nice deeper bass extension, while the P2 doesn't have this deep bass but a bass boost. So again, apart from the bass, they sound nearly the same. I mean, yeah, everything um, over 100 hertz sounds, I don't know, maybe even better on the P2. But of course, um, in the really nice bass section, the A1 outperforms it. So yeah, if you only want a good sounding speaker, go for the A1. Don't expect something crazy with the P2. With JBL, it would be another story because maybe, I don't know, the next JBL... So maybe the next JBL Clip 3 sounds uh, better than the Flip 5 or something, I don't know. Um, but now, speaking of the JBL Flip, let's also compare the P2 against the Flip 4. I also did a separate quick comparison, so if you want to have more sound samples between these two, just check it out. And now let's check out another, yeah, I don't know, uh, pop track here, and let's see which one is better. Okay, I'm not connected to the JBL. Before the video, I actually made a test run, so I connected to every speaker, but seems like the JBL forgot it. So let's check it out again here. overall the JBL simply is the nicer package. I mean this is a real good sounding speaker also for this um, yeah, kind of size because it sounds way nicer than the Libertone here but still being yeah, as big. But still I wouldn't say that the P2 is a slouch against it because the P2 still has some advantages. Now let's maybe check out a nice jazz track and now we will hear what the advantages of the P2 are. <laughs> So thanks to the treater, it has a way nicer resolution and travel extension. This simply has some boosted travel, which extends okay, but this really nice treater. Of course, this upper bass is a bit annoying, but this is what you need in a small speaker. Of 
course everything sounds a bit fuller, but I would say that the mid sound a bit clearer on the P2 and also treble, like I said, extends nicer, especially on axis. The P2 simply sounds nicer in the treble region, but still overall the P2 um, yeah, simply cannot really keep up with the flip form. This also has a way nicer battery and is also yeah fully waterproof. Um, so maybe the better outdoor speaker also built more rugged and you also have those passive radiators so your friends can watch it. So maybe the better outdoor speaker, but for a jacket pocket sized speaker, the P2 definitely um, yeah, sounds pretty nice. And now for the last test, let's also check out um, another Jastok on them. Let's maybe um, check out this new NCS track, which I've just discovered on low levels. And let's see how they yeah, stack up here and yeah. The flip 4 doesn't have a boost for low level and also not really that deep bass like the A1 had. So uh, yeah, bass boost would be pretty helpful with the JBR. They didn't implement it, so maybe the P2 has another advantage here. Here close to no differences. And just turn the JBL off axis and you will instantly lose the clarity. So I would say the P2 could even yeah, compete with the best speaker under $100, so the flip form. Plus, the P2 is also designed by a famous designer. I think, yeah, I don't know how she's called, I don't want to pronounce the name wrong. But um, yeah, of course, the designer also has to be paid as it looks a bit more stylish than all of the other products. So this was it from the soundtrack. Overall, I have to say that I'm very impressed by the speaker. I'm always wondering how BNO got such a good and high fidelity sound out of such a little speaker. With jazz music, we could even hear that it could keep up with much bigger speakers, which is probably because of the high quality parts inside. Of course, it isn't without flaws. Battery life is BNO typical, it is very sensitive for scratches, and despite being the best speaker in the size class, there are still many less expensive but bigger speakers out there which can easily sound better. If you are looking for the best package when it comes to sound and features in this class, the P2 definitely is not the one to go for you. But if you want something super portable with still a very convincing and good sound and you are willing to spend $170 for a speaker of this size, the P2 is the best for you to get. And that already was everything from this video. I of course hope you enjoyed the video, it was a lot more effort to make than all of my others, plus I'm recording with my brand new Sony A7 camera. So if you liked it, please leave a like or subscribe to the channel to see more of this stuff. Until then have a great time and bye bye.